Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Right now we're going to review the Pythagorean Theorem, which is very necessary when doing rolling offsets. So we're going to use a simple example here, and then we're going to apply it to the example we need for our rolling offset. Now many of you remember with the Pythagorean Theorem, if you have a right triangle, that the hypotenuse is the side opposite the 90 degree angle. And basically what the Pythagorean Theorem says is this, that the sum of the squares of the two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now you may remember this from your, your mathematics classes. So let's use an example and a very common one. You might recognize this. I'm just going to use an easy example right now. If a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4, what is c? Well, we have a squared, which is 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. Okay, so 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, okay, plus 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16, equals c squared. Okay, so 9 plus 16 equals 25, and that equals c squared. Okay, so what's the square root of 25? Well, 5 times 5 equals 25. So we have 5 is equal to C. So C becomes 5. Now, of course, any triangle with the ratio 3, 4, 5 is the right triangle. So this could be 6, 8, 10, 15, tw or 9, 12, 15. So you'll find that with right triangles. Any one with the ratio 3, 4, 5 is a right triangle. So we just took a simple common example here to re-explain the Pythagorean theorem. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.